Welcome back to daytime, everyone. You know, now that the kids are back in school, schedules are in full swing. Assignments, deadlines, everything's pending, and parents are being pulled in a million directions between work and all their personal responsibilities. Whether we admit it or not, a little we're a little stressed, maybe a lot, but too much stress can have negative effects on the body, especially the old ticker. Joining us now is cardiovascular, thoracic, and vascular surgeon Dr. Matteo Deo from the Venice Ocala Heart Institute. Good to have you back. Dr. Dale. Well, Thanks for having me back. This is a very stressful society we live in these days. Absolutely. And people are doing a million things at once and, and uh, technology doesn't make it any easier on us. No, in fact technology just adds to it. You know, before we could have moments to ourselves where we could unplug and just be by ourselves and relax. Now we, we're constantly plugged in, constantly tuned into what's going on around us and it just adds up to all the stress that's, you know, happening in our lives. We really have to police ourselves on this one though, right? I mean, Absolutely. If you're going for a walk, Colin, don't bring your BlackBerry with you. <laughs> Just leave it at home. Absolutely. You have to, you have to unplug. Yes. You know, there, there are times in the day. It, the, the essence of stress management is if you can change a stressful situation, change it. If you can't, then change your reaction to, to, to the stressful situation. Right. You have to make time for yourself. That's the third key. And most importantly, you have to take the time to rest and relax. And if you're taking that time, I mean, how many people go on vacation? and they've got their laptops with them, they've got their mm -hmm. iPhones with them, their Blackberries, they're never, they've never left. That's right? true. I it's saw so true. a well-dressed gentleman yesterday driving, riding a bicycle, and right. I'm thinking, okay, good for you, you know, <laughs> he looks like he's on his way to work, and he's, and he's texting as he's driving <laughs> his bicycle down the, down the street, and I'm thinking, what good is that doing you? Well, you know, the Florida Medical Association does not re recommend <laughs> texting while driving, and I don't think the uh, Highway Patrol does either. It's even dangerous <laughs> to text while walking. I mean, people Absolutely. run into light poles all the time. Let's talk about the effects of stress on our bodies. Okay. There are specific things that are happening to us, right, that we're not even aware of. Absolutely. You know, we know the overt effects of stress, and we can see it, but within the body, especially the overall body, we have headaches, backaches, pain in general is an indicator of stress. We have decreased immunity. You often see your kids or yourselves with more frequent colds. Uh, you'll have stomach aches, digestive problems. You know, my kids complain about stomach aches all the time. And then more importantly, sleep problems. Uh, they really, we really need regularity in the sleep and we need a, a lot of sleep. And we'll, we'll often be insomniacs, you know, working till late in the night to try to get what it is that we need to do uh, done. But more specifically, as a heart surgeon, you know, we see the effects uh, on the heart um, in terms of uh, chest pain, heart disease. Uh, you, you often see heart, heart palpitations, your blood pressure goes up, and all this muscle tension. We've not yet been able to quantify. We're good at quantifying blood pressure, cholesterol levels, all that. We've not yet been able to quantify stress and its direct reaction to the heart. There's a good study in Israel that was trying to detect the cortisol levels in hair to, to see it as a biomarker for stress on the heart. But mm. it, we're just in the infancy of, of things like that. You're right. Uh, sometimes we can be totally stressed. I, I usually tell people I, I don't feel a lot of stress. I'm stress-free. Then I've got this terrible ache in my neck <laughs> that I know is stress-related. Absolutely. And, you know, there are things that we can do to help fight that off. You know, uh, again, changing our environment or walking away from the situation. A number of techniques from deep breathing to meditation to yoga. And if you don't want to do those unusual poses in yoga, there's something sure. called progressive muscle relaxation. And you just uh, hit on that, is that you notice this tension. Yeah. And practicing progressive muscle relaxation where you're stressing one part of the body and then relaxing it, you notice the difference between a relaxed state and a tense state. I just and did that. that. Helps you. It yeah. worked. <laughs> <laughs> and bringing that up through your body, it helps, it helps you to find out when you're stressed and then to, to relax after that. Well, I hope you have a stress-free day. Uh, yes. I hope to. Everybody take time for themselves every now and then. Breathe. Dr. Deo, thank you very much. Thank very you. Well. Go to daytimeonline.tv for more info. Coming up, we've got uh, more daytime to come, so stick around.